Jumping right into this makeup tutorial, I am applying the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation in 340. I'm going to put this all over my face, try to get an even coverage to even out my complexion. I'm having a minor breakout this week. This is a really good drugstore foundation and it runs about $13 but I lucked out and found it at a discount store for four bucks. Next we're going to introduce the KISS New York Black Lace Palette. Cool thing about this palette is it has the built-in eye primer which I'm applying right now. Unfortunately none of the colors are named so I'll just have to describe the colors that I'll be applying but this primer is actually a really nice cream eyeshadow primer. We're gonna go with this dark navy blue. It's a very rich regal blue. Love this color. To the lid a little bit up into the crease but yeah this color is a really nice contrast. We're working with another fierce 4th of July look. So we're going to be working with red, white, and blue this time versus the look I did a couple days ago which was all blue. Next we're going to go with this ruby red. We're going to put that right in the crease. We're going to work it a little bit into the brow bone but mainly into the crease and it's a really, really nice contrast with the blue I think. It's not too, too much. It's still in the same color spectrum, being that it's more of a ruby red. Next we're going to go in with this iced out white. It's a great highlight color and it really helps bring the look together. It helps it blend and just, it's a nice variation of colors. You get that red, white, and blue, or white, red, and blue, but it's a really pretty look without being too much. That's what I really like about it. Very, very nice blend of colors with this new look we're doing. We're gonna take that blue that we used before and I like to go under the lid just to kind of give an appearance of a liner, but it really helps add a three-dimensional pop to the eye. Just a really a little extra smoke. gonna go ahead and go in with a the black brown mascara to help define the eyebrows. Now you can use an eyebrow gel but I like to use an affordably fabulous alternative so I use a the blackest brown mascara. I like to finish off the tips of my eyebrows with a brown eyebrow pencil. No specific brand I'm using a Santee which I got from my local beauty supply store. We're going to use the NYX highlight. I really like this highlight. It really helps my eye looks pop. I'm going to blend that out with my finger. It only takes a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Lashes, ladies. We always need lashes. We're using the Duo Adhesive. This is my go-to adhesive. It's in dark tone. The lashes are from the dollar store. I will try to find the brand for you guys. While we're waiting for this to tack up, this blue, I'm going to go ahead and apply the bronzer to make these cheeks a little bit more shapely. So we're going to use that brown to bring them out, bring them out. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling myself. I'm going to apply these lashes. I use tweezers. I start with the back of my lash and then work my way to the front. So you get the back place, then you work your way to the front of the lash. There we go. Looking good. Really love these lashes. They are just so, so fierce. And that's it, ladies. Apply the finishing touch which is slice of heaven I love Victoria's Secret glosses they all have like bits of diamond in them so they really really pop 
and that is the completed look fierce fourth and fabulous as always stay sexy stay fit stay forward to be fabulous don't forget to rate comment and subscribe